anything. Even Nehruji said, Kachatheev is a small little piece of island with no value. So that is how Congress sees Kachatheev. DMK brazenly lying till now about the status of Kachatheev. So Kachatheev should be in India's presence for us. We are looking very practically. Our fishermen should not suffer. That is our stated position. Now gone are the days. Now you have you seen shooting happening at very high level in the high sea. Now all those things have happened, all those ruckus have happened and DMK brazenly lying till now about the status of Kachatheev. Now we believe Article 6 reinstatement step 1 whereby the Tamil Nadu fishermen can go till Kachatheev, put their fishing nets and taking back Kachatheev. Even Nehruji said Kachatheev is a small little piece of island with no value. So that is how Congress sees Kachatheev. That is Nehruji's position. No value. Except a church, there is nothing. Blade of grass is not there. So now, historically, strategically, now because of China and whatever is happening around Sri Lanka, you all know it better. So Kachatheev should be in India's presence for us. We are looking very practically. Our fishermen should not suffer. That is our stated position. And the state government is duty bound to support it because they created this problem and we are trying to solve this problem. Sir, I see this as a, a chief minister of a state blatantly and openly lying. Knowing fully well his father ceded Kachatheevu, he was part of Madam Indira Gandhi's his decision illegally without keeping parliament in the loop. The reason I am saying this with a lot of confidence, sir, because the article 1 in the constitution of India that defines the boundary of a country and nobody can alter a boundary or include anything to a country without the parliament's approval that is article 1 so in this case without keeping parliament parliament was informed by the home minister Swaran Singh ji the parliament was just informed after the maritime agreement between India and Sri Lanka got signed now the cat is out of the bag where we know the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu then, Mr. Kalangir Karnanidhi ji, was fully aware of it even a month before he gave his concurrence. So now, after that, his son, writing a letter 21 times to the Honorable External Affairs Minister, it only shows even the son wanted something to hide, which is shameful.